Hey y'all, welcome to this video. Today we are doing one of my favorite hairstyles at the moment and that's a perm rod set. Before we get into the video, I just want to let y'all know that today's video is sponsored by Aussie. Yay. So I've already deep conditioned my hair and I use the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Curls Deep Conditioner with coconut and Australian jojoba oil. This has been one of my favorites for, I think since I kind of started getting into more natural hair products. I heard a lot of good things about this on YouTube back then, like a few years ago, so I've been using this deep conditioner for quite some time. So then I sectioned my hair into six sections, braided it, and got into the shower to shampoo and condition. And I used the Miracle Detox with white charcoal and Australian cockadoo plum. I've let my deep conditioner sit for about 30 minutes, so now I'm going to shampoo and condition my hair. Now, just to explain, because I'm not gonna take y'all in the shower, that's just a little too much, but just to explain, um, I have my hair in these braids just to make it easier to shampoo my hair so I get less tangles. I'm gonna rinse the deep conditioner out and then I'm going to apply some shampoo and I'll probably just shampoo once this time because I just did my hair a few days ago. And then I'll rinse out the shampoo and as I'm rinsing the shampoo, I'll undo each braid and turn it into a twist or I might rebraid it. Um, but that's just to make sure that I'm getting all of the product out because sometimes with braids, it can, um, get stuck but I do braids just so they don't unravel and I can do better section. So once everything's rinsed out then I'm going to apply the conditioner and I'll be back. Then right out of the shower I had to hurry and get out of the shower because I cannot let my hair dry whatsoever before I put in my leave-in conditioner. So for my leave-in I use the Miracle Curls leave-in detangling milk, the coconut and Australian jojoba oil as well and this is giving very much deep conditioner vibes like it gives that same slip in moisture. I ended up going to sleep last night and not finishing my hair, but my hair is ready to be styled now. It's pretty much dry, so I have my spray bottle. But as long as I get the like leave-in, the moisture in my hair before my hair dries, I'm good because you know, I'm a little frosty. So now I'm going to be perm riding my hair with orange perm rods. And I'm going to be using this custard and just a little bit of gel on the ends if I need it. And I also have my spray bottle. So let's get started. I did the back just to get that out of the way. Let's go ahead and finish this up. So like I said, my hair was dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray down the entire section all together. And then section off the part that I want. All right, so this is about good enough. I'm doing kind of sections on the smaller side. Um, just to get it a little bit more neat and so it's a little quicker to dry. So now that I have my section parted, I'm going to spray it down with water and work the water in because like I said, my hair is a little frosty so the water will just sit there and drip right off. And then after I apply my product, I like to spray it again. And then I have my fine tooth comb and I just go in and make sure it's a smooth and detangled. Okay, so now that it's smooth, I split it in two and I twist the roots. I'm gonna be twisting about maybe a third. And I like to twist the root just because it makes it easier for me to apply my hair onto the perm rod. And I don't have to get like puffy roots or the roots aren't falling off the perm rod. 
Um, and it also adds a little stretch, so that's just a bonus. I pull it, my hand all the way down, so it, it kind of, I don't know what the word is, it kind of compresses my hair into this, and so that makes it even easier to put it on the rod. And then I take my fine tooth combs and go over the ends to make sure they're smooth. And then I take my perm rod, and I add the ends of my hair at the bottom where the what do you call this? Where the top is. And roll it on. And sometimes I pull it a little bit just to make sure it's all straight. Okay, so once it's all the way up, I take the topper and put the rubber band on the side that my hair is at. So it's overlapping. And cap it off. So now for the front part. All like for my eyebrows, all the hair that's right here, I will be riding it so they come forward because I want a nice bang. So, but everything else is the same. So, I get my perm rods in packs of 12 for 99 cents at my beauty supply and I have 45 of them in my head right now. I was doing a small section, so I used a lot. This is the first time I'm using these orange perm rods. I've been using purple and the peach colored ones, but since my hair has gotten longer since the last time I bought some perm rods or got some perm rods, I feel like I can't upgrade a bigger size. So I did that and I'm so excited to see how these turn out. Yeah, so I'm not gonna be in any rush to let these dry. I'll probably send them to dry for a while, but I might just come back tomorrow. So I will see y'all then. So I sat under the dryer last night for about 40 minutes and this morning for another 20 minutes, so about an hour total and then it also air dried overnight. So now we're ready to take these out. So I'm gonna take the curl defining oil and use this on my hands as I go ahead and separate all of these. Before I do any more separating, I have like a damp spot, so I'm just going to go over it just a little bit more with my blow dryer. Also, I forgot to mention that I'm also going to stretch my roots with the blow dryer. Usually I do it after I've like fully separated it, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it now because it's basically the same thing. So I'm just going to like take a section, pull the root, and then hit it with the blow dryer. So I am using I am using high heat. Okay, so the only thing that I don't stretch is my bangs because I don't have real bangs, so I don't want them any longer. So I don't stretch these at all, just so I don't have to pin them back as much, but I usually still pin them back anyways. Um, so what's next? Okay, so now I can separate a little bit more. So I separate them, I don't know, as much as possible. I just kind of pick it and then twirl it around my hands and I still have some of that oil on my fingers. So I finish this and then I will kind of show y'all how I pick it out and stuff. So it's already looking really good without even having to pick it out. Like I almost don't even want to pick it. But I'm gonna do it a little bit. It's moving so well. It feels so good. Okay, so I have this, I have a plastic pick and then I have this like skinny one. Um, this one kind of gets like really in there and the plastic one creates way more volume but I don't know where it is so <laughs> I'm just going in from the back my hair is kind of like let me turn around like this we can fix the like the part right here later but it kind of doesn't matter that's what I'm doing and then I go in at the bottom, kind of have to move some of the hair out of the way, and like pull it in the direction that I want it to go. So the mushroom that I use is like in, <laughs> so I go in and then move my wrist up, or out, in, out.
So I think that's all that I'm gonna do today. I could really go all in, but I think this is gonna last like a full week this time. So I wanna kinda pull back a little bit, but it already looks so good even before I started picking. So obviously you don't even have to pick it out. Like just the blow dry kinda helps fluff it out a little bit and then it might even last longer than a week. I don't know, especially if your hair doesn't dry out so fast. But um, yeah, I think I can tell how good this looks and how good it's gonna look like by day three and day four. I'm really excited for that. Yes, all the products that I use have been some of my favorites and I'm so happy that when I combined them all together. They gave me such amazing results. Thank you to Aussie for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.